I'm Connor Fear and we're here at the Leo Gang World Cup. Uh, I'm going to take you through my Forbidden Dreadnought uh, race bike. Uh, so the frame is just a stock 154mm travel Forbidden Dreadnought. It's a medium, has a 462mm reach, which is pretty much perfect for me, so there's no reach adjustment headset or anything going on here. For the suspension, I've got the RockShock boxer on the front. Um, it's lowered to 190mm just to make the geometry a bit more like as the frame was supposed to have, because obviously it's an enduro bike. Um, I have a coil shock on at the moment, 375 uh, pound spring on the coil shock. Um, that's compared to like a 350 pound spring that I have like on my enduro bike with the same frame. Um, so I just make it a bit harder and firmer just because you obviously like have limited travel on this bike for the World Cups and just to stop it blowing through a bit. Um, and same with the fork, like it's a bit harder than what I would have on my enduro bike. I go from about 149 to 151 PSI on the fork with one or two tokens and usually the compression's about like halfway. Um, as far as rebound, I think I probably have my fork, I'd say maybe a little bit fast and the shock usually a little bit slow compared to maybe what's normal, but I think that's just, I like my handlebars to like stay up a bit higher and feel like you're sitting into the bike, especially like when it gets steeper. For the wheels, we've got the Crank Brothers Synthesis downhill wheel set um, and Max's DHR front and back for the tires. If it's wet, I'll probably chuck the cut wet screams on um, just to grip up a bit more. Like at the bottom woods, they get pretty slippery. So I like having cut spikes in that situation. For the cockpit, we've got the Bergtech 50 mil stem and 30 mil rise handlebars cut to 760. Um, so nothing too crazy about like the way I set my bars and stem up. I just like really picky about the roll on my handlebars. So it takes me a lot to like roll them forwards and back and get, get them in the right spot. Then when they are in the right spot, I never want to take the handlebars off the stem. So like when I put it in the bike bag, I always take the stem off just so I don't mess with that. Um, so I'm loving those. So for the drive chain, we have the SRAM XO7 speed um, with the MRP guide and bash guard on the bottom there. Uh, obviously the Forbidden has got the idler wheel um, for the high pivot and stuff. Brakes, we got the SRAM code, um, 220 mil rotor up the front and 200 at the back, uh, which has been pretty much the same setup I've had for the last five years or so. so never fails me. Um, for seat, we got the Physique saddle, Bergtech seat post. For pedals, we got the Crank Brothers stamp in the large size. And I, I use like 12 mil pins, which are longer on the, the outer six, and then just a 10 mil on the inside. So I guess my foot can have like a bit of a concave platform to like sit into. And they're super big, so never worried about blowing a foot or anything. So yeah, I'm actually looking forward to riding Lear Gang on this bike. Like, it's a bit less travel, obviously it's the enduro bike and we got through Fort William, that's probably one of the gnarliest ones. So I think Lear Gang's gonna be walking a park after that. Um, I think it's gonna suit the top of the track, which is just like pretty smooth bike park at the moment. We'll see how rough it gets, but I think it'll be uh, pretty fast, like for a lot of the track. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely not worried about having less travel than the other guys here, that's for sure. So as a flat pedal rider, I really like the high pivot design, like the the rear wheel just moves out of the way when you hit square edge hits and your feet just feel like they're glued to the pedals. So in the past I've had a, a little bit of problems like with the rougher tracks and your feet kind of like starting to creep forward. But ever since getting on the Forbidden, my feet have just been planted. So I think it works really well with the flat pedals.